Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Barrier in collaboration with Grimm. This is Groove Angle. So this is a double IPA, 8% brewed with Amarillo hops and kiwi. So interesting thing about this beer is that it's in collaboration with Grimm because they are two breweries along with many others that had bought brewing equipment from a certain producer fabricator. Unfortunately, that fabricator went out of business and went bankrupt. And so now you have all these small breweries slash small businesses that uh, just out of thousands and thousands of dollars and no brewing equipment as well. So really unfortunate news um, for a lot of these breweries. But they did a can release recently at Barrier with both a Barrier can and a Grim can. And the proceeds help these breweries, obviously. So great cause uh, for these small businesses. But let's dig into this beer. So the beer comes in full on haze. You absolutely cannot see through it with a light gold color. Let's get the aroma on this one. It's not very explosive on the nose. I'm getting maybe a hint of the kiwi uh, driving in there, the sweetness. Almost, also some like prickly pineapple in there, maybe a little bit of orange. Some soft, sweet breadiness in there as well. Cheers. It's quite nice. Very soft in the palate, really. Um, this is the, arguably one of the softer beers I've had from Barrier, straight up New England style. You actually wouldn't have guessed that there's kiwi in here. Up front, it's really not that obvious that of a fruit flavor. Um, it's just mostly to me like soft, understated tropical citrus fruit. Maybe a little bit of um, orange in there, li little lingerings of just like some pineapple. But in general, I, I like the fact that it has a, just a soft, chewy, bready New England style malt underlying it. Um, you get a, 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 a hit of a little bit of a kiwi towards the finish. And then on the back end, there is a little bit of bitterness maybe, but actually not that obvious. It dries out the beer nicely. Um, pretty nice, yeah. In, in, in general, conclusions about this beer is that they're, it's just a really soft beer. It doesn't explode on the palate for you. It's not quite the water profile of something like a Hill Farmstead, but it reminds me of that in the sense that it's not a truly explosive beer. It's a drinking double IPA a drinking New England style double IPA, not something to really impact your nose hugely, impact your palate hugely. And as I wait more, maybe getting a little bit of uh, salinity, um, driving on the palate, it's mineral kind of uh, a quality on the on the back end. So different water treatment, obviously, than Hill Farm says profile. But yeah, it's a nice understated beer. As you wait more, the kiwi tends to pop a little bit more, get a little bit of this kind of um, drying action reminds you a little bit of kiwi because kiwi has that uh, tartness and, and light bitterness from the seeds so it has a little bit of playing in but not a very obviously kiwi beer it's just a great soft new england style ipa being brewed from barrier best of luck to barrier and grim until next time cheers and as for rating let's not forget that mm, delicious let's go with a i'm just liking it it's just Solid, 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 really good. Really, really good. Um, 96. 96, this is really nice. This is Barrier Groove Angle. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.